Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Melting Math. In this video, we are going to see about book bag that's an evaluation question with the answer of uh, unit 5 in the science new book term 1 that is about a living world of animals. Okay, if, if you didn't watch the previous video, means that's the detailed explanation of living world of animals. Please watch that video, then only you can get the better knowledge to solve all these questions easily. Okay, let's get into the uh, questions evaluation. First, from let's choose the correct answer. First one. The study of living thing or organism is called dash. Options are there. It's a psychology or a biology or zoology or a botany. Yeah, it's, we, everybody knows it's a biology. Okay. The study of living thing or organism is called always a biology. Okay. First one, option B is the correct answer. Next see the second one. Which of the following are characteristics of living being? Okay, they mentioned some uh, options, respiration, reproduction, adaptation, excretion. Okay, here we have to choose the correct sequence here. In the sequence is nothing but the correct order. Okay, which is the correct order? Respiration is the first thing. Second one is a reproduction and third adaptation for the excretion so it's in correct manner only so option d is the correct answer okay this is the correct sequence next three the third one lizards breathe through their dash lizards breathe through throw da their dash is what uh, we already discussed in the previous video also lizards breathe through the lungs only so option c is the correct answer next see the fourth one all animals needs dash options are there see first food and water only another one water only another one air food and water another one food only so what is the answer option c is the correct answer because all animals need air food and water okay next see the fifth one which animal has a special organ of breathing called gills which animal has uh, this uh, special organ called gills gills is a what respiratory organ we already discussed in the previous video it occurs only in the water fish so option c is the correct answer next see the sixth one choose the set that re represents only biotic component of a habitat okay biotic component is what i already mentioned biotic is nothing but about a living thing okay so here the option d is the correct answer aquatic plant fish frog insects these all uh, comes under the biotic community because it, these all things are the living organisms okay next is the seventh one which of the following cannot be called as a habitat options are options are there see a desert with uh, camels a pond with fish and snails cultivated land land with grazing cattle and a jungle with wild animals which is the uh, uh, following cannot be called as a habitat here option c is uh, cannot be called as a habitat because cultivated land with grazing cattle it's not come come under the habitat so option c is the correct answer and next see the eighth one birds fly in the air with the help of dash with help of what uh, heavy and strong bones or uh, soft and thick bones or uh, hollow and light bones or uh, flat and thick bones uh, we, this is also we already seen in the discussed in the previous video so option c is the correct answer hollow and light bones hollow is nothing but it consists of uh, less number of bones okay and uh, it's uh, also in the lightweight so that's uh, that's is the correct answer option c is the correct answer hollow and uh, light bones okay next see the ninth one Paramecium moves from one place to other place with the help of water. This also we already discussed with the help of cilia. Okay, option D is the correct answer. Next, the 10th one, Gangaru, Gangaru rat lives in where? Okay, option A, aquatic habitat or option B, desert habitat or option C, grassland habitat or option D, mountain habitat. Answer is option B, desert habitat. Gangaru rat lives in the desert habitat. Okay. 
and uh, one special feature is there for the kangaroo rat it uh, don't drink drink the water okay it gets the water from the oxygen from breathing itself okay so next uh, see the about the second roman letter multiple uh, choice question okay here uh, we have to complete the following the appropriate words appropriate word is the correct answer only okay let's see the first one uh, aquatic desert mountains are called dash what are called habitats we already know it okay next see the second one based on the number of cells present animals are classified into dash and dash based on the cells we ca we classified two organisms where we already discussed it that is a unicellular organism and the multicellular organism okay next see the third one tail of the bird acts as a rubber which helps that bird to what which helps the bird the tails helps the bird to control the direction of the movement when flying it helps the bird to control the direction of the movement okay next see the fourth one amoeba moves with the help of dash what uh, amoeba moves with the help of uh, pseudopodia that's a false food we already discussed it okay next third roman letter true or false if a false means we have to give the correct statement okay let's see the first one habitat is a living or a dwelling place of organism is it true yes it's true we know it okay and let's see the second one the geographical features and environmental condition on earth remain same from one place to another is it true or false it's false because the geographical features and environmental condition on earth differ from one place to another we call it as an ecosystem we discussed it in a earlier video okay next see the third one amoeba is a unicellular organism and moves with the help of a pseudopodia is it true or not yes it's true we know it okay next is the fourth one birds can see only one object at a time is it true no it's false we know birds can see the two object at a time and we called it as a binocular vision okay we discussed it in the previous video also okay next is the fifth one paramecium is a multicellular organism oh it's a multicellular organism no it's not a multicellular organism false it's a unicellular organism okay next fourth row monitor complete the following first one tropical rainforest grassland and deserts are known as what are known as habitats okay these are the habitats for some animals okay next is the second one some living things are made of a single cell they are called as a dash organism what organism we already discussed that's called the unicellular organisms okay next is the third one the breathing organ of a fish is known as what is known as gills so gills is the special respiratory organ for the fish okay so that is the answer next is the fourth one the lizard dash on the ground with its claw on its feet okay the lizards moves on the ground so here move is the correct answer next is the fifth one camel stores dash it's in, it's in its hump it stores fat in its hump so whenever it need it breaks that fat and convert it as a energy okay so fat is the answer next is the fifth row monitor very short answer questions okay first one how do the birds catch their prey prey is nothing but it's a, a food insects or a food okay so uh, the answer is here the bird catch their prey with the help of a pair of clouded feet cloud feet feet is nothing but what it's uh, its legs only it can uh, grab its uh, food using its feet only so that's they are mentioning here next see the second one where can we see camels in india we can see the camels in rajasthan like desert okay uh, okay next see the third one name the locomotory organ of the amoeba locomotory organ is nothing but i already mentioned in the previous video also locomotory is nothing but the movement uh, we are moving with the help of leg like that amoeba is moving with the help of which organ it's called a pseudopodia okay the locomotory organ of amoeba is called a pseudopodia okay that's the answer for it next fourth one 
uh, what are the body parts of the snake okay what are the body part of parts of snake uh, yeah it's head eyes nostrils mouth belly and tail okay that's the organs next is the fifth one which structure help the bird to change its direction while flying in air so that's answer is a tail the tail of the bird only helps it to change the direction while flying in the air okay that's the answer next is the fifth one short answers type questions the first one a difference between unicellular and multicellular organism okay uh, let's see about it in the unicellular organism is made up of a single cell and the multicellular organism made up of many cells then unicellular organism performs all the functions of life and uh, multicellular organisms uh, have a different cells and performs different functions okay and unicellular organisms are very small uh, as microscopic in size and the multicellular organisms are mostly large in size and it also seen through naked eye yeah we can it is visible to our eye okay that's they are mentioning here next they lack tissues organs and uh, organ system in the for a multicellular organism they are composed of tissue and organ system okay uh, in the unicellular organism growth occurs by an increase in the size of the cell but in the multicellular organism growth occurs by an increase in the number of cells by the cell division an example of multi cellular organism is amoeba paramecium euglena and the example of uh, sorry example of unicellular organism is amoeba paramecium euglena and the example of our multicellular organism is earthworms fish frogs lizards and human beings okay uh, we already discussed this distinguish between unicellular and multicellular organism briefly in the previous video okay please watch that video to get a better knowledge okay next see the second one write the adaptive features of a polar bear and penguin okay uh, uh, polar bears uh, polar bear habitat is a polar region and its adaptive feature is a thick skin for protection and a white fur okay next one is a pigeon okay pigeon's habitat is a polar region it's also the polar region and its adaptive feature is a paddle paddle to swim and walk with two legs okay these are the adaptive features mm, next is the third one mention the feature that help a bird to fly in the air okay birds have streamlined body covered with feathers okay next this birds have the body shape provides a minimum resistance to the air then they have a pair of wings that are modified four limbs then they have hollow and light bones after that they have a strong chest muscles with the help them with the help of them they can withstand the pressure of the air while flapping their wings during the flight okay uh, i already we these all things are discussed in the previous video please watch the previous video to get the better knowledge okay next what are the different types of invertebrates invertebrates first see about the inver invertebrates invertebrates is nothing but the living thing which is not having the spinal bone or the skeletal bone is known as the invertebrates okay let's see about the different types of invertebrates first one is sponges it's come comes under porifera and com jellies it's come under cynopora and the hydrils jellyfish sea amibon amimons and the corals are comes under snideria after that the starfish sea urchus sea cucumbers comes under echinodermate then flat worms comes under platyhelminthes and round or thread worms comes under nematoda and gat worms and leeches comes under anilida and insects and archins comes under arthropoda and snails and octopuses comes under mollus mollusca okay these are the types of invertebrates I already mentioned invertebrate is nothing but the living thing which is not having the spinal cord that's a spinal bone or the skeletal bone okay 
Let's see the seventh row letter answer in detail first. Describe the various features with help camel uh, dwell well in the desert. Okay, let's see about this. The camel has a long leg which helps the, it to keep its body away from the hot stand in the desert. Okay, a camel can drink large amount of water whenever it's available and store in the body. Okay, next it passes small amount of urine. It does not sweat. It loses very little amount of water from its body, so it can live for many days without drinking the water. Okay, next a camel's hump as fat stored in it it cause a emergency in case of emergency a camel can break down that stored fat for uh, uh, nourishment it convert it to the energy only okay it has a large and flat padded feet so it walks easily on the sand okay next camel has a long high lashes and ass to protect its eyes and ears from the blowing dust and it also keep its nostrils closer to avoid dust nostrils is nothing but our nose walls it not close the full of the walls it's close a little of the nose okay nose okay that's it i already said these all things are discussed briefly in the previous video if you didn't watch the previous video video means please watch the previous video okay that's it on the upcoming videos we can see the next unit that's the sixth unit okay uh, thank you subscribe to our channel melting math and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you